Hello and welcome to Vitis English. Hi guys. Today we'll be looking at how to make an appointment in English or how to invite someone out. Okay, let's start with some basic ways to invite someone out. Are you up to anything this evening? Have you got any plans for this evening? Are you free this evening? What would you like to do this evening? But of course, it's up to you whether you want to accept this invitation or refuse it. Here are the phrases meaning yes. Sure. I'd love to. Sounds good. If you want to say no, you can use sorry, I can't make it. I'm afraid I already have plans. I've got too much work to do. In case if you agreed on meeting, it's time to agree on time and place. What time shall we meet? Let's meet at... Where would you like to meet? Well, I feel like making a role play about appointments. Me too. What about virtual role play? Sounds fun. Let's do it. Hi, Denny. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm fine too. It's been ages since we have last met. Oh, yes. That's true. Why don't we meet? Have you got any plans? We can go to the movies. There is a good film. Spider-Man. Would you like to go? I'd love to. When shall we meet? Mm, what about this Friday? I'm afraid I can't make it this Friday. I have to visit my grandparents. What do you think about Saturday? Are you free this Saturday? Oh, I've got too much work to do. Sunday? Mm, sounds good. What time shall we meet? Let's meet at 3 p.m. We can eat something after. Sure, I'll call you this Friday. What I have noticed, people tend to text messages rather than calling. Of course, it takes much less time and energy to text a short message than talking for hours. And there is still some romance in this text exchange. Same romance I find in epistolary novels. Do you ever read them? No, I don't. But I know very well what it is. An epistolary novel is a novel written as a series of letters or other documents. The word epistolary comes from the Latin form of the Greek word epistole, meaning a letter. Yeah. The epistolary form of writing can make the story seem more realistic to the reader. This is because it is more personal and is more like the working of real life. Some examples of modern epistolary novels are Dracula by Bram Stoker uses not only letters and diaries, but also newspaper accounts. Carrie by Stephen King is written in an epistolary structure through newspaper clippings, magazine articles, letters, and books. The latest epistolary novel I read was Poor Folk by Fyodor Dostoevsky. So, this is the end of today's program. Thank you for watching us. Have you got any plans for tomorrow? No? Then join us tomorrow at the same time at the same channel. Bye!